Hello, and welcome back to Quest for Glory 3. Uh, and we found the Leopard Village, finally. Wow, I am tripping over my own words today. So from here, you can see the tree houses of the Leopardman Village. There is definitely the feeling of magic in the air around you. She's especially attractive. Uh, now respect those who do not use magic. My people believe that leopard meh, that the leopard is the most powerful of all creatures. That is why we become leopards. You will soon see the ritual that turns our people into leopard men. Cool. Most of my village stays up until after the moon starts to go down. Do not go out much in the daytime. Oh, cool. Literally, that was a score day. The time has come for the change ritual. Come quietly, and we will go to a secret looking position I know about where we can watch. You spied on your own change rituals? That's a little weird. Be out of sight and can watch. I want to watch the ritual. Real magic. I just see some... kinda creepy dancing going on. What are they doing, the monkey? Ah. They have gone leopardy. Now, we can go in the village. After the ritual, we'll be able to enter the village. If you want to earn the respect of my people and maybe get the Spear of Death, you will need to show how well you can use magic. You'll need to compete in a magical duel. Got it. I have no idea how to do the duel, so this will be interesting. I am Johari, and this is my prisoner. Prisoner? Man has much magic. He is a mighty wizard. <laughs> well, technically no, because we did not actually join the wizarding ranks. Okay, hero, say something about magic. All right, I'm saving. LP nine in case something goes wrong. And I'm also turning the volume down slightly. Again. There we go. Tell about magic. I am the shaman. Who is this outsider that dares claim he has magic? He has magic to match my own? Ha! Oh, he's got a spurk and a scar. Wait, or is that just squinting? I don't know. I'm not sure I want to fight this guy. You alludes to my skills in spellcasting. Um Yes. There will be a duel between the outsider and the shaman in the arena immediately. You must follow the rules of the duel with the shaman. First, you cannot attack or harm the shaman directly with your spells. Okay. Next, you cannot use the same spell more than once. Okay. Finally, you and the shaman take turns casting spells and countering the other's spells. Good luck, you will really need it. You do not have a chance, outsider, for I am the shaman most powerful of all. You shall begin the contest. Okay, so cannot hit him directly. Hmm. 
Let's see. A platform in the center of the village, the entire... Watching you on a smaller platform above you is a the jungle blowpipe and poison darts ready to enforce the rules of this contest. Failed to counter the shaman spell. Shaman has clearly defeated the outsider. Uh, um, hmm. So kind of like walk right back in. I think I'm just going to restore. All right. Step one: summon my staff. Staff is more powerful than the shaman staff. The outsider wins this round. staff exactly uh that didn't work out i have no idea what i'm doing hmm all right so first things first summon the staff he summons his staff okay now the next move we want to make Cast flame on his staff. Uh, that doesn't work. Okay. How come he can set my staff on fire and I can't set his on fire? Now, uh, what do I have? Tech magic won't do anything. Open won't do anything. Dazzle. <laughs> Must counter his own spell. Stranger has won this round. Okay. So now he puts the Ring of Fire down. Um, I'm thinking... Calm. Yes. Uh, it's a... What is it? Magical Cage. Can I open it? Dang it! Give me a chance to actually do it. Okay, you do your ring, and we cast Calm. surrounded by darkness. Really? Ooh, dancing lights. That's a spell to break the darkness of the shaman. He does very well. What the heck is that? Jet Black Snake. Um. Um. What would stop a snake? Uh. 
Oh, this one's obvious. Gee, I wonder if I have to cast Levitate. <laughs> well, it's working so far. I shall destroy you. Demon? I summon thee. Demon, I become thee. Become a demon, kill it? Um, what do I have that can stop a demon? Um, can I, like, force bolt him? I missed, didn't I? Oh god, I have no freaking mana! That's problematic. Um... Crap. I was worried about this. You let me. Aha! You stunt lock like everybody else. Oh, that was a mess. Oh well. <laughs> Success. Although I kind of feel bad about killing the shaman. And our gratitude by destroying the demon. Um. Okay. Come to our village. Oh, that easily? <laughs> Pose. Hmm. I honestly thought that would be harder. All right, we got the spear. Now will this bring peace? A stranger once came to the Sambani. The stranger spoke of peace. There could be no peace, said the Sambani. The stranger came back to the Sambani village. He spoke of peace again. There could be no peace while there is an enemy. The stranger went to the enemy, and the stranger came back to the Sambani. Here, have the spear of death. Can we have the drum back, please? Promise of peace. Promise of peace. Hey! Here is the sign of the Sambani peace. Return to the enemy the drum of magic. Show them that the Sambani will speak with them of peace. Only return to the drum of magic stands in the way of your peace between our friends, the Sambani and the Leopardmen. Excellent. Uh, you must travel to the Leopardmen's village and return the drum of magic. Love to. Krisha will sense when you have returned the drum of magic to the Leopard Men and will send the magic portal for your journey back to Tarna. So I'm glad that it's so nice of them to cut out the whole walking thing. Hero, it is time to present my father with a drum. Here you go, one magic drum. Behold the drum of magic. Now the drum of magic is returned, I can speak with peace. Speak of peace with the cow people. Ah, good. Travel to Tarna, where Rakish anxiously awaits the peace conferences. Now, what's going to happen to screw everything up, I wonder? It's almost guaranteed. You have been watching the conference for some time, as I can introduce everybody. It's been rather boring. The Council of Judgment of the Land of Tarna now calls forth the Laiban of the Sambani. Speaking before you as leader of my people, 
The Simbani and the Leopardmen have always been enemies. The Leopardmen steal our cattle by night. They use magic against our warriors. They are sneaky and not to be trusted. Spear of Death. Something is not right. I feel that something terrible is about to happen. No kidding. Really? My friend, cannot you see the sign of the de demon leaving the body of the Leopardman leader? Oh, God. Of course. Ah, uh, so much for peace. Seek out the demons in the Lost City, and I will join you if I can. Go quickly. Hopefully I don't need any more pills, because I don't think I'm getting any more. Ooh. Well, that could have gone better. That could have gone a lot better. Well, now we need to... well... Dang it. Oh, it's a wizard man. Yes, yes, you, you just die. With lightning! Alright, we're gonna have to find a way to the Lost City. Which is across the river in the jungle in that area that we couldn't reach. However, we already did the part that sets it up, if I remember right. The monkey. I think. I'm kind of hoping that uh, I have the option of buying food and potions. Because if not, this could suck. Because of that. Oh, that's not good. Um, I just ate all of my food. Yeah, yeah. Come at me, Dino Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is not good. Why couldn't you be made of meat? When you are made of meat, why can't I eat you? Hmm. Uh, well, worst case scenario, I'll go through that part again off screen after buying a bunch of rations and supplies. Uh, um. Yes, that might be a good idea. Can I get to the Sambani village? Come on. Uh, apparently I can't. So I have no red. <sighs> Alright, well... I'm going to leave myself a note. Redo and buy supplies. Yeah. And next time I will pick up after all that, except this time with supplies. Uh. Yeah. No, oh, that's disappointing. Anyway, I've been Toka. Hopefully you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time.